What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to engrave some stainless steel, some metal. I need some metal engraved. Yes, I do have this fantastic fiber laser, but for this job, I'm actually going to be using the Thunder. And I'm using the Thunders because <clears throat> I've never ever etched the metal with black with using brilliance. So I used to use Searmark. I don't have any left. I used to use Seamark all the time, and that stuff is expensive. So, you guys reached out and like, dude, haven't you ever heard of Brilliance before? Nope. Been using it quite a bit. This is my fourth can, so that's how much I've been using it. I have a couple of jobs that, for uh, tumblers, I was using them on and flask. So, I've been using the Brilliance now and. It has changed the settings from Searmark to this one, and it makes it actually better. So on the epilogue, I found out I can run faster with using this, and the Searmark, you have to run a little bit slower. So what we're gonna do today is I haven't done it on the Thunder. So I'm gonna run it on the Thunder. I already know the settings on the epilogue, but I've never done it on the Thunder. I already know the settings for the fiber. But I haven't done it with the thunder, so we're gonna do it on the thunder. Let's go, let's get into it. All right, all joking aside, <laughs> gotta have fun. I have the piece in here, it's dry, it's been in there for a while. Now, the true test is what speed are we gonna do? Not gonna lie, I already figured it out before I did the video. I'm gonna show you, on this side I already did some. So, let's make a cool little scene right now and I'll walk you through everything when this is done. All you do is rinse it off. I use water. You can just use a dry cloth if you want and then LA Awesome or Super Clean, whatever you prefer. But I have a sink, so I just prefer that. And oh, does that look so good. Yep. I done did it again. So that's it, that is pretty easy. The settings. Now I want to talk about those. So the first time right here, not this one, this one, see how it's not etched, there's missing stuff? Way too hot. I started out with speeds at 150 and this one was 150 speed and then I did, it was, I think it was 50, it was either 45 or 50, it was 45 speed and it was etching, it was not etching, it was it was getting so hot it was flaking the coating. So then I went lower and you still had a little bit there. Not much. So I changed the line um, interval to 0 0.05. Didn't like it so I went back up to 0 0.08, like it a lot better. And speeds are 300, power is at 20, and it turns out like this. Just Gorgeous. I got some tumblers to do. So I'm gonna do some tumblers with it. I'm really excited. The other thing is, so I wanted to show this too. If you have a blank piece of stainless, like I just got these from a local fab shop for some plates for trailers. So if I just take this and spray it, gonna get like fish eyes you're gonna see little like holes so to not get that you want to take just rubbing alcohol or you can take 
a degreaser, any kind of degreaser, LA Awesome, or Super Clean, whatever you prefer. Clean the metal so there's no oils on it, and Brilliance will just stick right to it. I use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, because I buy a lot of it. I used to use it a lot more, but I find it cuts every oil and grease so much better than all the degreasers. So it's just my preferred method, and that's what I use. I'll link the Brilliance and rubbing alcohol in the description. You guys can take a look, see what I use. Order it wherever you want to order it. Um, Brilliance sometimes will have a sale on their website. I found Amazon is actually cheaper for me. So every time I've ordered, but then maybe it's a sale that I'm catching it, but I order four at a time. So, all right. And then what I also wanted to say, if you weren't going hot enough, what will happen is you'll have the etching will start and you'll see it. But then when you go to wipe it off, this will all come off. It won't stick. So you want to make sure that you're hot enough also. So I think it turned out really good. The Brilliance is my go-to. I don't have a rotary tool for the fiber. I like to use the spray for when I do tumblers. So I use all my stainless tumblers. We use the spray. Um, like I said, I used to use Searmark. I don't use it anymore. It's way more expensive. It's almost double the price, if not more now. Um, so I just, I prefer to use that rather than doing a fiber. In the past, I've had issues where I did it in the fiber in the epilogue, and when I would use the epilogue, sometimes the mugs aren't quite um, circular. So singular, singular, circular. So as it's turning, you'll lose um, the distance in between sometimes, and then the engraving doesn't come out as black as you want, or vice versa if you want to do like a polish. So I just found if I if it's going to be black, I just use a spray. It's on there, good for life. Like. It takes a lot of sanding to get it off. I've tried before. The other thing is they've tested their product and it sits out in UV next to a window and it's never faded. I've done some of these plates like this for a family member where his ashes were dumped and we put it on a bench that's out in the sun. On the open. There's no shade. Never shade hit, never hits it, and it's never faded yet. So rain, snow, you name it, sunshine, it's still there, still doing good. So I trust it. So I hope this helps someone. If it does, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I had fun. And no, that's not a real face mask. It's actually a piece for my lawnmower. Or not. <laughs> for my vacuum cleaner. Drapers. Yes, I got to mow the lawn. But man, vacuum cleaner. Not mowing lawn. Lawnmower. Whatever. It's for my vacuum cleaner. See, it's a filter. Don't really use this. It was just for fun to make you guys laugh. Hope made someone laugh. Anyways, glad you guys see me again. Goodbye.